Hey guys, not sure if you can hear me or not. Let me check the volume. Let me turn it all the way up. Hi guys, I hope everybody's doing great. Hey Tori, hey Black Small Biz, hey Kishonda, hey Dr. Robertson. Hey, happy, happy Thanksgiving Eve. I have an amazing message for you guys. I hope you're ready. Hey guys, thanks for inviting followers, Tori. Hey Shakisha. Hey, Candles on Fleek. Hey, Sam, uh, Image Company. Hey, Leticia. Hey, guys, go ahead and invite and your followers. I don't know why it doesn't show me everybody's name. Hey, LaDon. Uh, hey, LaDon. Hey, Violet. Hey, Miss Patricia. Hey, guys, so listen. Hey, Tamisha, happy holidays. Hey, Coach Tandy, I saw you blowing it up earlier, girl. I was in the tub. Hey, now you're talking. Hey, guys. So listen. Hey, Marsha. Last night... I had an amazing opportunity. Shanae. Oh, okay, I got you. I'm trying to remember. Hey, Zakia, how are you? Hey, Claudia. Last night, Cassandra, I told you, here I come. I had the amazing... And look, lately y'all ain't been giving me uh, no hearts. What do I need to do to get my hearts? I need some hearts, y'all. I need to see some love. Hey, Nikki Love. Last night, I had an amazing opportunity to uh, close out a 10-week class that I did with some awesome ladies. If you were in that class, say me. And um, what I taught them was the importance of not selling themselves short, right? I taught them the importance of putting the right price tag on their gifts, now, keep in mind, their class was 10 weeks, and it was very in-depth. But if you don't start to work on charging your worth, thank you, Marsha, you're going to perpetually be in a situation where you don't have enough. Somebody say, wow. Hey, in our image. Hey, Dr. Tamika. So for the ladies in that class, I appreciate them. But you guys have an opportunity to get a special Charge Your Worth workshop that I did earlier this year, way before this class, for only $17 today so that you can start the work. I said start. You may not finish, but so that you can start the work in charging your worth. Hey, Gwendolyn, and let me tell you what that looks like. How many of you know for a fact that you are working for free. You do a lot of work. You do, you answer a lot of questions. Say me if this is you. You answer a lot of questions. You give people a lot of help. You think they're going to come back and bless you on the back end, but they don't. Hey, Antoinette. No, it's not just for women, but women have this problem more than men do. Men go get their money. That's the truth. I'm going to repeat that. Men not only go get their money, but men are better off economically than women. And I'm going to give you some of the problems we have. Number one, somebody say number one. Somebody say number one. Somebody say number one. Y'all got to participate now. Come through family number one. Not charging or not charging enough. Not charging or not charging enough. All of us are guilty of either not charging or not charging enough. And when we don't charge and when we don't charge enough, we put our families at risk. When we don't charge, hey Rashad, or we don't charge enough, we put our families at risk. They go to twins, y'all. Look at the puffy monkeys. Look at this one right here. This one right here trying to roach for some money, y'all. Hey, Couture 42, where you been? So listen. This is why 
I have to charge my worth. When I don't charge my worth, this one and this one, they go short. So they say, hey, y'all say hey. Hey. How much, Faith? Oh, you know I'm going to, right? Oh, goodness, so no. Charge that worth. So we can get... <laughs> That's a good one. Charge that worth. Y'all hear that? Y'all hear that? Thank you. Thanks for charging the worth. Listen. Thank you. Love you. Bye, bye, babies. Bye, love Give me a kiss, Fuzzy. Oh, my, I have lipstick on. Can I? Uh, that's okay. Bye, baby. Oh, you got a kiss on your cheek. Listen to me, y'all. So, about five years ago, I went through a divorce. I was married for 16 years. And when I went through the divorce, I was forced to do some things differently. And, and when you're accustomed to having two revenues and that two revenues dwindles to one, you have to do some things differently. She did just swipe my head. I can't stand them. And so what I learned quickly was that if I started to monetize all of the time that I was spending helping everybody else, giving everybody else advice, supporting everybody else's dreams. And if you haven't shared the video, share the video. And if you haven't shared on Facebook, share on Facebook. If I started to just put a price tag on the things that I was already doing, somebody say already. See, that's the beautiful thing about what I'm about to teach you. What I'm about to teach you is that it's not about doing more. It is about monetizing what you're already doing. I bet if I was to follow Stevie, Aisha Mills, my sister, throughout her day, I bet there are some things, hey, Lakeisha, that she is already doing that she's failing to put a price tag on. There's conversations she's already having. Let me tell you about one of my clients, Lakeisha Mosley. Every time we start talking about losing weight, Lakeisha jumps up with a thousand recipes, a thousand suggestions for exercise. And guess what? That is information that the world would pay her for. So we have to know that our worth Somebody type in my worth is important. So number one, if this is you, just put a one up. If you know you're not charging or you're not charging enough, you've got to claim your worth. Hey, Rev. Dr. Porter, you've got to claim your worth and you've got to know that your worth is important to you and your worth is important to your family. So if you're not charging your worth, put a one up. Because that is where it starts. It starts with me saying, I've got to do something different. I recognize it. I realize it. And I've got to do something different. What if you don't have enough? Enough what? I don't understand what you're saying. Your worth is important. So either you're not charging or you're not charging enough. So let's talk about it. Number two, some of you feel that you're not qualified. Some of you feel, oh, I'm not qualified. I don't have enough experience. Who's going to listen to me? If, if that's you, say me. I want to call it out today because I want you to make a change. You don't need money necessarily to start. You don't need money to start selling your advice. See, that's another lie. Hey, Avery 3000, that is another lie. You don't need money to start. And sometimes you have enough already. Come on now. How many of you say, oh, well, I want to do this, but I'm not qualified. Uh, nobody's going to listen to me. Um, come on, say me now. Come on now. 
Because you got to call it out in order to move it to the next level. Y'all must be asleep. Y'all ate y'all turkey already? So that's number, that's number two. You're either not charging or not charging enough, or you don't feel like you're qualified. But check this out, though. If you wasn't qualified, people wouldn't even come to you for free help. Hmm. Hey, I love to swap. Girl, you missed Florida. It was amazing. I'm going to repeat it. If you weren't qualified, people wouldn't even come to you for free help. Baby, because people is choosy. Beggars are choosy. People are choosy. And if they'll come with you for free, that means that somebody, maybe not those people, because some people ain't going to pay you regardless. Hello? Hey, Medina. Some people ain't going to pay you if you the last person left. They're not. So guess what? Get away from them and get with people who will pay you. Beggars is choosy, y'all. They are. Here's number three. They sure wouldn't. They wouldn't. They really wouldn't. Here's number three. Broke people break people. Broke people break people. Let me, let me tell you why that's true. While people are coming to you to get free advice, because they're not paying you, hey, Siobhan, because they're not paying you, you're not able to pay for what you need in your business. I'm going to repeat that. Because you're not requiring, and it is your fault, people to pay you your worth. When you need something, you don't have the money for it. Can I tell y'all a story real quick? I told y'all I just finished a class last night called A Woman's Worth. It was a 10-week class where I took them through, hey, maidenpreneur, how to charge your worth. Now, you can get a similar workshop. It is on, on sale right now for only $17. So if you know you put up a one earlier and you know you need help charging your worth, go to bit.ly slash get mad money and buy the charge your worth workshop. It was originally $49 and you can get it right now for $17. Somebody say, wow, broke people break people. Let me tell you the story of one of my sisters. And if you go buy it, come back and tell me about it so I can sing you a song. Only $17, bit.ly slash get mad money. In class last night, I had one of my sisters literally break down. She said, I should have been in Florida with you guys. She said, I should have been in Florida with you guys. She said, but because I'm not charging my worth, I missed out. And because I'm not charging my worth, I didn't get an opportunity to go. She said, I couldn't afford it because I did not charge my worth. She said, but never, somebody type in never. She said, never again will I miss an opportunity because I am afraid to ask the world for my worth. She said, never again will I miss the chance to experience sisterhood because I was too embarrassed to charge people what they owe me. She said, never again. If, if you guys tell the truth right now, somebody watching me right now has missed an opportunity because they didn't have the money. You missed an opportunity because you did not charge somebody along the way what you're worth. You've missed a chance to connect because you've missed a blessing 
because you did not charge someone. And you got to say today, hey, Lloyd Shell, I mentioned you earlier. You've got to say today, never, never again will I miss an opportunity to advance myself, to advance my family because I'm not charging my work. Never again. Never again. You have got, there you go, Carla. Carla was in class last night. Oh, no, we got a new one, girl. I just block and keep going. Baby, I ain't letting them trolls get me off my, never again. I should be the president. How you going to vote for me for president and you can't even spell it? Jesus. Never again. No more missed opportunities because I let somebody make it. And here's the thing. Who lets you make it when you need a discount? Who lets you make it when you can't afford the rest? Who lets you make it when your money is messed up? Who lets you make it when uh, uh, you ain't got it all together? Can I answer it for you? And the answer is not many people, if any. So, why you, why you worried about everybody else trying to get help? It's not that many people on your list that's helping you. So, I'm asking you, when will you stop? When will you stop giving everybody your greatness? And if you haven't shared the video, please share the video because this is an important message for women. Let me tell you, I've done the research. Maybe your mama. Maybe your mama. No, I don't speak Russian. I speak Blachishan. Blachishan. You got to go. Maybe your mama. Maybe. The mortgage company don't. The light company don't. And they don't. And you've even got friends that you've done this, that, and the other for. And when it's time for you to need help, they want to send you an invoice. I'm not mad at them. I'm not mad at them. So when are you going to say to yourself, look. I got to be about my business. This is why I called out to the women folk. I called out to the women folk because, hey, Nika, I called out to the women folk because we want to be sensitive. We want to be sensitive. We want to say, well, you know, she got them kids over there. She don't care about your kids. Well, you know, she's trying real hard. She done had a hard life. She don't care about your hard life. Well, uh, he really is trying. He don't care. Guys, but what it boils down to is it's not about care and concern. This is business. Somebody type in business. This is business. Hey, Stacy. This is business. I'm not here to be your friend. I'm not here to be your partner. I am here to make a living for my family. This is business. And I can't keep coming up short at my house while I'm blessing yours. It's okay for us both to be blessed. But I cannot keep coming up short at my house. There go my brother. Hey, brother Marcus. Boy, I'm over here giving them the blues. I cannot keep coming up short at my house at the risk of my family because I blessed you. See, you got to bless people out of the overflow. You can't bless people in your lack. You can't bless people in your shortage. You got to bless folks in the... <laughs> you tickles me with that. You got to bless folks in the overflow. And, and here's the thing. There's a difference between business and philanthropy. There is an, hey, hey, Prophet Bush. There's an amazing difference between business and philanthropy. You've got to separate the two. 
What you do to give is what you do to give. But when you go through Walmart, they not blessing you with your groceries. When you go to the dry cleaners, they not blessing you with your dry cleaning. When you have a business and you have put a price tag on your business and you can get the workshop for $17 now through Monday, bit.ly slash get mad money. Listen to me. You bless folks out of the overflow, right, Prophet Bush? And it's a plight. It is a serious plight for women because women do three-fourths of the world's work. You can look the numbers up. But we only have 10% of the world's wealth and 1% of the world's land. I'm going to repeat that. It is a serious thing for women because women serve as 85% of the world's caregivers. And what that means is that we're caring for the children in more cases than not, and we're caring for our elders in more cases than not. We're the nurturers, we're the caregivers. When the caregivers are broke, when the caregivers are struggling, when the caregivers cannot put a price tag on their business and stick with it, that, that, positions our children for generational poverty poverty and generational lack. Uh Ashley, can you give me a minute and inbox me? Just just inbox me and let me finish this and I promise I'll reach out to my team and see if they've sent it out yet. So so let me finish this and then I'll if you inbox me, I will take care of it personally. Because this is a serious message. And I know I didn't even give them the stuff to send out until this morning. Because I literally just got back Monday. Today is Wednesday. And, and again, check your junk mail. But let me check to see if they send it out. But again, this is such a serious message. I can't impress to you enough. That if we would just charge our worth for our gifts and talents. We would not continue to struggle financially. If we would just charge our worth for our gifts and talents, we wouldn't continue to have to beg folks at these jobs for increase. I told y'all this story this, mo this morning. He asked Moses, what's in your hand? What is in your hand? You have enough in your hands to feed your family for the rest Somebody type in rest, R-E-S-T, for the rest of your life. You have enough in your hands to feed your family. I don't care who you are, for the rest of your life. The word says a wise man leaves an inheritance for his children's children. So do you think, do you think that he would give us a word and then not give us the tools to lead the inheritance, but you're allowing the enemy and the enemy because I'm not even going to give the enemy that much credit. You're allowing the enemy and the enemy to talk you out of your legacy. You're over there telling yourself that nobody is going to listen to me because of my past. You're going to say, I'm not qualified to do this thing out in the world and they won't pay me. But I'm going to tell you this. If you keep allowing the enemy and the inner me to talk in your inner ear, you will continue to sell yourself short. And guess what? If you sell yourself short, do not be mad when the world buys you. Short. It's not about gifts. It's not about talents. It's about do you believe in your abundant promise? Do you believe in what the word says is your destiny? Do you believe? Oh, Brother Marcus, I'm reading this book by Scott Anderson. His father 
is over that big three temple church in Arizona. Uh, the Living Word Church, I think it's called. Built it with his own two hands. Uh, it's by Scott Anderson. It's called Think Like a Billionaire, Become a Billionaire. And in the book, listen to this, y'all. He said that as Christians, when other people see us struggling, whether it's financially, whether it's in our marriage, whether it's at our jobs, whether it's physically, when other people see us struggling, we have misrepresented the kingdom. Because if the word has given us everything we heal, like my brother Marcus taught us, you know, healing is the children's bread. So if, if the word has given us everything we need, at the point where we're saying, I'm a Christian, and I don't look no better than the next person, we have misrepresented our father. Hold on now. Hold on now. I know that's too deep for some people. I know some people are going to be like, that doesn't make sense. But, but the truth of the matter is, we're supposed to look... We're supposed to make Christianity look good. He gave us everything we need to make Christianity look good. We're supposed to make Christianity look like something other people want to do. That's how we convert other people with the gospel. That's, why, that's how we bring other people on board. They're supposed to look at you and say, wow, I see them happy. I see them glowing. I see them flowing in the word. I see them manifesting things and I see them with a, in a in a good relationship. And and come on now. Am I in the book, Prophet Bush? Am I in the book? And so people are supposed to look at Christians and be like, oh man, I want to be that right there. We're supposed to be examples and ambassadors of health, wealth. And, and the word. If he gave it up for us. On the Christ. On the cross. Then we got to. Make sure we're exemplifying. That in the world. And when we don't we've got work to do. And it has nothing to do. With the book. And more to do. With the fact that. We've allowed the world. To taint us. We've allowed the world to, to, to uh, talk us down off our destiny. I, I, I hope I'm helping somebody. It's the truth. Uh, Maya Angelou says, you teach people how to treat you. I say, you teach people how to pay you. You're running a business. And the word says a workman is worthy of his hire. Somebody type in worthy. And what that means is that whatever price tag you put on your business, you're worthy. You're worthy. And if people don't understand or if they don't want to pay what you're worth, they have other options. You're not making anyone patronize your business. And thank you guys for the hearts. Hey, call me Nachi. You're not requiring that anyone pay you. But once you know what you're worth, you have to charge your worth and keep moving. Hey, hood psychic, how are you? And I'm going to give you an example. Let's look at water. W-A-T-E-R. Water. Plain water. Now, you can go to the park and you can drink water in the water fountain for free. You can go to your tap and you can get a cup of water for cents on the dollar. Now, you can go to the grocery store and get a 24 pack for about $2.50. So about 11 cents a bottle. But right next to it, you got Perrier, you got Fiji, you got a, a little higher level, the Sana, uh, Ozarka. You, then you got on a little higher level, you got all of these spring 
bubbling spring. Now, what they told me on the news was, watch this, boss. What they told me on the news was, it's a lawsuit because it's the same water. <laughs> Evian. That's what I heard on the news. I heard on the news right now that they are going through a lawsuit because it is the same. <laughs> it's the same water. But even if it weren't, listen to me, y'all. Even if it weren't the same water, it has the same intention. It has the same intention. And <laughs> I'm telling you, Marcus, God know you'd be over there with them bottles of water. But I heard on the news, it's the same water. They may filter it, but you could do that at home. You could do that at home. But it has the same intention, which is to hydrate our body. And so we're paying for a name. But it's, it's good. And, that, and that, I'm not going to argue for anybody else's brand, right? But what I'm telling you is even if the water has a different pH level, it has the same intent, which is to nourish and hydrate our body. So what I'm teaching you is a business lesson about branding and that you can literally charge whatever you want to charge in the world. You can. Like I say, I'm not finna argue, uh, 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 I'm not finna argue about nobody else's brand. I'm not. I'm giving you an example. We can talk about purses. If Louis Vuitton purse is leather, and you got another purse that's leather with no name on it, you can't tell me that the Louis Vuitton leather is better than this leather over here. It's got the same intent to carry your stuff. Let's talk about cars. If I brought an alien from Mars and put two, put two cars in front of them, a Bentley and a Toyota, and said, which one of these, which one of these is the most expensive car? You could not, that alien could not tell you the Bentley, not by the look, not by the sound, not by, they have the same intent to get you from place to place. And you'll say quality, but I'm going to beg to differ because anybody that knows anything about automotives, you know that Chevrolet makes parts for a whole lot of car companies. Hold on, y'all. If you, if you start to dig deep, what you will start to understand is that there are only a few car manufacturers. There are only a few. And they, and they, and they put a name on the part, but it's GM makes Cadillac, Saab, uh, GM makes Yukons, and then you turn around and watch this. Watch how GM and Chevrolet model each other. You got a Tahoe, you got a Yukon. You got a Toyota, you got a Lexus. You got Ford making Jaguar and Lincoln. So, that's how I talk, boo. And if you don't like it, Keeble, you, do, you can leave. I've been loud since I've been born. When I swallowed a microphone, when I was three years old, I grew up in corporate America talking to thousands of people a day. And you know what? It's who I am. And the same way I accept every single one of you for who you are, if you don't like who I am, then the door is wide open. And that's not even being me being mean. That's me being who I am. I have not being any different since I've been coming on this here Periscope. I have not been any different. For those of you who've been following me from day one, I have not been any different. I have not. And so what I do when I go into people's Periscope is I sit, I tap for hearts, and if I don't like what they say or how they say it, I quietly leave. I just quietly exit. 
Because to me, anything else is a cry for attention. That's how I look at it. And I'm not trying to offend nobody. I'm here trying to help. I hope I'm helping somebody. Am I helping anybody today? Listen, listen, listen to me. I have seen so many women who have, have I'm not going to cry today, but let me tell you why I do what I do. I've seen women with their lights off and they have the capabilities to pay their light bill. I've seen women sleeping in their cars and they have the capability to pay rent. I've seen women without a dollar in their pocket, but they have the capability to be wealthy. And so I'm passionate about saving women from themselves, from themselves, because that's the only person that gets in your way is yourself. That's it. Thousands and thousands and thousands of women a year I talk to. And each and every one of them is in their own way. And all I want them to do is understand that abundance is their birthright and get out of their way. Understand that they don't have to beg these jobs for a raise. That they don't have to feel like they're not good enough. That they don't have to let people in the world keep tricking them out of money. And so one thing I can say proudly is I'm going to always be me. I'm going to always be me. And you know what? For the women that was with me in Florida, they will tell you, I will let you be you. I will let you be yourself. I will celebrate you. I will love you. It don't matter how you look. It don't matter how you act. Come on now. I know. I know that as women, we are too accustomed to wasting our time tearing each other down. It, 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 it's a waste of time, y'all. Why tear anybody down when it's so easy to build somebody up? Can I get an amen on that? Why make a comment to tear anybody down when it is so easy, so easy to build somebody up? Why is it that we want to always make negative comments? No, I'm not talking about prostitution at all. I don't know what you're talking about. Why is it so easy for women to, to, to tear each other down instead of saying, let me lift you up? It's a, it's still effort. It is effort regardless. But to that I say, you can't offend me, but you can't be around me either. Now watch that. You can't offend me. I've come too far for that. I have too many people, and this is what I want each and every one of you to adopt. Come on now. Don't let people offend you, but they ain't got to stay around you either. Hello? Did anybody hear that? It don't matter if it's family. It don't matter if it's your main, the folks at your job. You can't offend me, and you can't hurt my feelings. But guess what else? You can't stay around me. Keep the people around you that empower you and lift you up. And that's some of the reason that some of us can't charge our worth because, hey, Rico, welcome back. Too many of us have been told that we're not worthy. Hmm. 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 You can't offend me, but you can't stay around me either. And you know the sad part about that, y'all? The sad part about that is they miss their blessing because I'm going to catch all of mine. 
We're talking about charging your worth. As women. It says it in the title. It says it. It says it. See, I'm going to catch all of my blessings. Somebody type in all. I'm not going to sit here and let anybody steal anything from me anymore. For 40 years, people stole my glory, stole my talents, stole my gifts. Come on now, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I want all of my blessings. I want them all. And if I want to scream, yell, and shout to do it, I'm going to do that. Baby, y'all need to get a new attitude about allowing people to question who you are. Baby, you can either recognize who I am or move around. And that's the truth. So listen to me. Stop selling yourself short. What I want you to do is if you really want to change your mindset about your worth and start putting the right price tags on your stuff, go to bit.ly slash get mad money. bit.ly slash get mad money. Between now and Monday, you're going to be able to get a, 47, a $49 workshop for $17. Y'all see, see Siobhan, I growed up. You got yours? Bloop, there it is. If you got yours already, tell me you got it so I can sing for you. See Siobhan, I growed up. I ain't got to argue with them trolls no more. I just release them to the people. Thank you, Natalie. Thank you, Ra Ra. You know, you, you getting yours right now, Regina? Bloop, there it is. Baby, I'm going to celebrate women. I'm going to celebrate the next. Where? Where, hood psychic? Where? You lying. You just trying to interrupt my scope. Hey, Dr. Noel. It is a recording that you get. You got yours this morning? Oh, well, you're welcome from Dubai. Yeah, you, he, he said something. He was speaking my language. Yeah, don't Google me. Google me. Don't ask for my credentials. Sharice, you getting yours right now? Bloop, there it is. Yeah, come back and see me, Jumbass. Hey, Dr. Noel, I've been missing you. Bloop, there it is. Oh, Kendra, that was an amazing scope this morning. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you for the scribe. Guys, listen. Don't let nobody steal y'all light. Don't let nobody steal your light. I was giving y'all that word too, boy. You're qualified. And, and this is another thing. So even last night when we ended the class, right? Go ahead, Kena. Bloop, there it is. Even last night when we ended the class, it was still women saying, well, how much do I charge? No. You see me writing who is psychic? Uh, and so, hold on, just hold your hand. No. Uh, can y'all uh, get get Troy from over here, please? You've been on fire today in your spirit, Sharice. Me too. Listen, even when we leave, you saw me taking them notes, hood psychic. Uh, they said, hey, Troy. Hey, Troy. Hey, you oh, who kissed my baby? Oh, Hope. Oh. They said, hey, Uncle Troy. Hey, what's up, y'all? Your family from Florida. Come speak, baby. Hey, peoples. Hey, people. Uh, Coach Tandy on here. Your pit bull on here. Oh, pit bull. Hey, pit bull. Bro, she bro. over here. <laughs> oh, let me tie you to no tree now. <laughs> Rashetta on here. Jamie on here. Hey. Who else on here? They on here, baby. They talking about, hey, Troy. Hey. Hello, y'all. Then Rashetta, oh, Lakeisha on here. The one was like, really? 
Oh, no, really, nigga? <laughs> oh, you can't say that. Okay. No. Okay. <laughs> you cannot say that on here, Troy. My bad. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> he has no filter. He has no. Lakeisha, he talking about that picture. You <laughs> took. Come say this and she been released. <laughs> oh, my goodness. He can never get back on the camera again. Yeah, he said he out of there, y'all. He is getting up. Yeah, Keisha, did you hear that? Oh, my goodness. I don't even know what to do with him. I don't, but y'all know your Uncle Troy. He real. He don't have no. Thank you, Siobhan, for keeping my heart going. He don't have no filter. He don't have no filter, y'all. Yeah, live. Yeah, they say live is live, Troy. Mm -hmm. They say live is live. He he don't get it, sis. He don't get it, Robin. He don't know. I made Panora right, cause you know we be trying to be good on here. Yes. Anyway, y'all, if you need help charging your worth, get it while it's seventeen dollars. You need it. It's a real workshop. It's gonna make you change your mind about some stuff. It's a workbook that comes with it. It's a call that comes with it. Let that be what you do this weekend to give thanks. Girl, I was blushing under all this black. So if you want the workshop, go to bit.ly. They tell me I say it again, Troy. Don't say it again, baby. Ah, he in the background saying, it. girl, I'm going to get out of here. Girl, <laughs> that is him. The broadcast is moving slow for me. Girl, get out of here. Oh, oh, you mean it's, it's lagging. Oh, girl, I'm sorry, Rhonda. And I've been seeing your name. That's the only reason. Girl, you know, I've been under attack on this scope, girl. But they say, <laughs> they say it's been lagging. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to collect my nerves. I did. I did. But I saw Rhonda. I said, oh, no, I know that name. Yeah, uh, they said them Periscope updates. Uh, <laughs> they said them Periscope updates been making a delay. Uh, Darius, they're, get, don't delete you <laughs> Girl, I've been under attack. No, but Darius was doing it the other day. Love you too, Rico. Anyway, he did. He did. Let me go collect my nerves, y'all. I'll be back. I love you, fam. My trumpets. <laughs> I want to go block Rhonda. I caught it. I caught it. I caught it. Love you, Rhonda. I caught it. 